Question 89.25 Questioner, I'm sorry that I didn't understand exactly what you meant with respect to this. Would it be appropriate then for me to answer the questions with what I think is the meaning of the three items that you spoke of for card number one and then card date, etc.? Is this what you mean? Answer, I am Ra. This is very close to our meaning. It was our intention to suggest that one or more of you go through the plan of study which we have suggested. The queries having to do with the archetypes as found in the Tarot after this point may take the form of observing what seem to be the characteristics of each archetype, relationships between mind, body and spiritual archetypes of the same ranking such as matrix, or archetypes as seen in relationship to polarity, especially when observed in the pairings. Any observations made by a student which have fulfilled the considerations will receive our comment in return. Our great avoidance of interpreting, for the first time, for the learned teacher various elements of a picture upon a piece of pasteboard is involved both with the law of confusion and with the difficulties of the distortions of the pictures upon the pasteboard. Therefore, we may suggest a conscientious review of that which we have already given concerning this subject as opposed to the major reliance being either upon any rendition of the archetype pictures or any system which has been arranged as a means of studying these pictures. Question 89.26 Questioner, all right, I'll have to do that. Ra stated that a major breakthrough was made when proper emphasis was put on our Canon 22. This didn't happen until Ra had completed third density. I assume from this that Ra, being polarized positively, probably had some of the same difficulty that occurred prior to the veil in that the negative polarity was not appreciated. That's a guess. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. In one way it is precisely correct. Our harvest was overwhelmingly positive and our appreciation of those which were negative was relatively uninformed. However, we were intending to suggest that in the use of the system known to you as the Terot for advancing the spiritual evolution of the self a proper understanding, if we may use this misnomer, of Archetype 22 is greatly helpful in sharpening the basic view of the significator of mind, body, and spirit and, further, throws into starker relief the transformation and great way of mind, body, and spirit complexes. Question 89.27 Questioner was some of Ra's population negatively harvested at the end of Ra's third density? Answer, I am Ra. We had no negative harvest to such although there had been two entities which had harvested themselves during the third density in the negative or service to self path. There were, however, those upon the planetary surface during third density whose vibratory patterns were in the negative range but were not harvestable. Question 89.28 Questioner what was Ra's average total population incarnate on Venus in third density? Answer, I am Ra. We were a small population which dwelt upon what you would consider difficult conditions. Our harvest was approximately 6,500,000 mind, body, spirit complexes. There were approximately 32 million mind, body, spirit complexes repeating third density elsewhere. Question 89.29 Questioner what was the attitude prior to harvest of those harvestable entities of Ra with respect to those who were obviously unharvestable? Answer, I am Ra. Those of us which had the gift of polarity felt deep compassion for those who seemed to dwell in darkness. This description is most apt as ours was a harshly bright planet in the physical sense. There was every attempt made to reach out with whatever seemed to be needed. However, those upon the positive path have the comfort of companions and we have Ra spent a great deal of our attention upon the possibilities of achieving spiritual or metaphysical adepthood or work in Indigo Ray through the means of relationships with other selves. Consequently, the compassion for those in darkness was balanced by the appreciation of the light. Question 89.30 Questioner would Ra have the same attitude toward the unharvestable entities or would it be different at this nexus than at the time of harvest from the third density? Answer, I am Ra. Not substantially. To those who wish to sleep we could only offer those comforts designed for the sleeping. Service is only possible to the extent it is requested. We were ready to serve in whatever way we could. This still seems satisfactory as a means of dealing with other selves in third density. 
It is our feeling that to be each entity which one attempts to serve is to simplify the grasp of what service is necessary or possible. Question 89.31 Questioner, what techniques did the two negatively harvested entities use for negative polarization upon such a positively polarized planet? Answer, I am Ra. The technique of control over others and domination unto the physical death was used in both cases. Upon a planetary influence much unused to slaughter these entities were able to polarize by this means. Upon your third density environment at the time of your experiencing such entities would merely be considered, shall we say, ruthless despots which waged the holy war. Question 89.32 Questioner, did these two entities evolve from the second density of the planet Venus along with the rest of the population of Venus that became Ra from second density to third? Answer, I am Ra. No. Question 89.33. Questioner, what was the origin of the two entities of which you speak? Answer, I am Ra. These entities were wanderers from early positive fifth density. Question 89.34. Questioner, and though they had already evolved through a positive fourth density they, shall we say, switched polarity in the reincarnating in third density. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 89.35. Questioner, what was the catalyst for their change? Answer, I am Ra. In our peoples there was what may be considered, from the viewpoint of wisdom, an overabundance of love. These entities looked at those still in darkness and saw that those of a neutral or somewhat negative viewpoint found such harmony, shall we say, sickening. The wanderers felt that a more wisdom-oriented way of seeking love could be more appealing to those in darkness. First one entity began its work. Quickly the second found the first. These entities had agreed to serve together and so they did, glorifying the one creator but not as they intended. About them were soon gathered those who found it easy to believe that a series of specific knowledges and wisdoms would advance one towards the creator. The end of this was the graduation into fourth density negative of the wanderers, which had much power of personality, and some small deepening of the negatively polarized element of those not polarizing positively. There was no negative harvest to such. Question 89.36 Questioner, what was the reason for the wandering of these two wanderers, and were they male and female? Answer, I am Ra. All wanderers come to be of assistance in serving the Creator, each in its own way. The wanderers of which we have been speaking were indeed incarnated male and female as this is by far the most efficient system of partnership. Question 89.37 Questioner, as a wild guess, one of these entities wouldn't be the one who has been our companion here for some time, would it? Answer, I am Ra. No. Question 89.38 Questioner, then from what you say I am guessing that these wanderers returned or wandered to Ra's third density possibly to see greater wisdom in what they saw as an overabundance of compassion in the Ra culture. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect in the sense that before incarnation it was the desire of these wanderers only to aid in service to others. The query has correctness when seen from the viewpoint of the wanderers within that incarnation. Question 89.39. Questioner, I just can't understand why they would think that a planet that was doing as well as the population of Venus was doing as far as I can tell would need wanderers in order to help with the harvest. Was this at an early point in Ra's third density? Answer, I am Ra. It was in the second cycle of 25,000 years. We had a harvest of 6 out of 30, to speak roughly of millions of mind, body, spirit complexes, less than 20%. Wanderers are always drawn to whatever percentage has not yet polarized, and come when there is a call. There was a call from those which were not positively polarized as such but which sought to be positively polarized and sought wisdom, feeling the compassion of other selves upon Venus as complacent or pitying towards other selves. Question 89.40 Questioner what was the attitude of these two entities after they graduated into fourth density negative and, the veil being removed, realized that they had switched polarities? Answer, I am Ra. They were disconcerted. Question 89.41. Questioner, 
Then did they continue striving to polarize negatively for a fifth density harvest in the negative sense or did they do something else? Answer, I am Ra. They worked with the fourth density negative for some period until, within this framework, the previously learned patterns of the self had been recaptured and the polarity was, with great effort, reversed. There was a great deal of fourth density positive work then to be retraced. Question 89.42 Questioner, how is Ra aware of this information? By what means does Ra know the precise orientation of these two entities in fourth density negative, etc.? Answer, I am Ra. These entities joined Ra in fourth density positive for a portion of the cycle which we experienced. Question 89.43 Questioner, I assume, then, that they came in late. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. Yes. Question 89.44 Questioner, I didn't mean to get so far off the track of my original direction but I think that some of these excursions are enlightening and will help in understanding the basic mechanisms that we are so interested in in evolution. Ra stated that archetypes are helpful when used in a controlled way. Would you give me an example of what you mean by using an archetype in a controlled way? Answer, I am Ra. We speak with some regret in stating that this shall be our last query of length. There is substantial energy left but this instrument has distortions that rapidly approach the limit of our ability to maintain secure contact. The controlled use of the archetypes as that which is done within the self for the polarization of the self and to the benefit of the self, if negatively polarized, or others, if positively polarized, upon the most subtle of levels. Keep in mind that at all times that the archetypical mind is a portion of the deep mind and informs thought processes. When the archetype is translated without regard for magical propriety into the manifested daily actions of an individual the greatest distortions may take place and great infringement upon the free will of others is possible. This is more nearly acceptable to one negatively polarized. However, the more carefully polarized of negative mind, body, spirit complexes will also prefer to work with a finely tuned instrument. May we ask if there are any brief queries before we leave this working? Question 89.45. Questioner, I'll just make the statement that I perceive that a negative polarity harvest is possible with less negativity in the environment like Ra's environment than in the environment such as we have at present and ask if that is correct, and then is there anything that we can do to improve the contact or the comfort of the instrument? Answer, I am Ra. Firstly, the requirements of harvest are set. It is, however, easier to serve the self completely or nearly so if there is little resistance. In the matter of the nurturing of the instrument we suggest further manipulation of the dorsal side and appendages of this instrument and the whirling of the waters, if possible. The alignments are conscientious. We ask for your vigilance in alignments and preparations. All is well, my friends. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, then, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.